It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, slaves. As the media fueled spectacle of election season heats up in the United Snakes, many anarchists and anti authoritarian comrades are experiencing a serious case of deja fucking vu. We're going to start with that upset that took place in Iowa. Donald Trump losing to Ted Cruz in this year's caucuses with presumptive shoe and Hillary Clinton in a deadlock with Bernie Sanders. Once again, we find ourselves engaging in the same stupid fucking debates with liberals so-called progressives, and other fair-weather radicals about the pitfalls of electoral politics, all while being talked down to as though we're just naive contrarian ideologues who don't know what the fuck we're talking about. What you're describing is anarchy. Are you an anarchist? If I can be real with y'all, this is seriously fucking annoying to keep having to do, despite being repeatedly proven right. Time and time again, once politicians get into office, they inevitably reveal themselves to be the capitalist meat puppets they truly are. When the money's coming your way, you don't ask any questions. But rather than learn their fucking lesson, the cheerleaders of revolution by the ballot box always manage to find a new leftist rock star to root for. I love being a part of this. This is what it's all about, the political revolution. It's a trap! And the whole fucking cycle begins again. So, despite the fact that it pains me to do so, I'm gonna have to break it down for y'all one more time. <clears throat> Anarchists are against the state, and elections are intentionally designed by the powers that be to channel peeps' anger into reinforcing state power. What makes representative democracy such an efficient system of social control is the fact that it's highly dynamic, meaning that it allows the state to constantly reinvent itself. Fuck Ron Brady in order to adjust to changes in the political environment. Under capitalism, this is generally a euphemism for class war, and other associated tensions such as nationalism, anti-colonial resistance, religious and ethnic sectarianism, and struggles against patriarchy, heterosexism, and white fucking supremacy. Basically, representative democracy works like a complex system of pressure valves. When shit is popping off, Calling an election is often the easiest and most effective way of chilling peeps the fuck out. Often, those in power will just roll out a shiny new puppet or pick a leader from the social movements who can be counted on to do their dirt. This new puppet can then claim that, if elected, they will use political power to fight on behalf of the peeps in the streets. I will introduce legislation that will make every public college and public university tuition free. There is something so familiar about this. This moves struggles out of the real world and into the realm of electoral politics, which can then be more easily managed by corporate and state media outlets, PR firms, and greasy fucking campaign managers. But aside from the, uh, the campaign themes, I want to address some of my long-term plans. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they're great, but they're not important. See, my job is to get you in. Once you're there, you do whatever your conscience tells you to do. Elections give peeps the illusion of control over the direction of society. Because I'm voting for pizza too. <laughs> it's unanimous. <laughs> when in fact the whole fucking system is rigged. The B-2 bomber has a piece of it made in every single state to make sure that if you ever tried to phase that project out, you will get howled from among the most liberal members of Congress. No matter who wins an election, the real winner is the state, and individual states exist within the incredible, powerful, and all-consuming matrix of globalized capitalism. The United Snakes is the world leader in running this con, which shouldn't be a surprise since they fucking invented it. Despite American politicians constantly preaching democracy abroad, state institutions like the CIA, the NSA, and the US fucking military are always ready to intervene anywhere in the world to make sure that said democracy doesn't threaten the interests of multinational corporations who fund their campaigns. Gangster capitalists use their political pets to launch wars, trade embargoes, assassinations, and coup d'etat abroad. And yet peeps still cling to the belief that these same evil fucks would ever allow their control over the state apparatus that they use to maintain their domination to be challenged by something as random as a vote? Who's fucking naive now? 